Hail and well met, my warriors of light, my warriors of darkness, and my defenders of Eorzea. This is your pal Rune Weird, better known as just Rune around these parts. It is so good to be with you on this most beautiful Woden's Day evening as we continue on with the return to Ivalis, uh 24 man alliance raid uh, that was done for Stormblood. I think we are on the third and last. Uh, now, I haven't looked up anything uh, regarding the raid, uh, but I've kind of noticed that they usually do it in three uh, chapters uh, so far. Uh, so I'm assuming we're on the third and final part. Uh, depending on and depending on how time is for when we uh what I'm assuming we'll wrap it up tonight uh goes uh we may uh uh Mario bro aka Iway might be joining us late on later on tonight we might get uh I might get my first uh peek at some of the Ruby weapon uh stuff. I have no idea what that's about, uh, <laughs> but that has never stopped me before. So, yeah, and uh, good evening, Ashen. As always, great to see you, my brother. And when that boss first came out, the, you know, the difficult thing was, right? Like, I mean, I, I you, you get it. Like, there's some sort of computation that had to be figured out. I totally took it the wrong way. Didn't look at my health. Like, so like I was, I had no idea that your, your vitals changed. And then I started missing like what, what the, what the question part was. So it was just like, I was out of sync and I was just getting, I was just getting, I was getting pissed off because like, I literally was like, I was like, yeah, okay. So like, you know, cause I didn't look back down at my health, right? Like, you know, so once again, I can't, I didn't see that it changed. I wasn't getting what that had to do with anything. Right. So yeah, no. And it was, and it was good. It was fu good fun to, to watch while I was, uh, while I was, uh, uh, basically I was putting the, uh, the, the file through like my recorded file. Uh, through an edit an editor so that way I could upload it to YouTube um and I know it was a real dirty quick just throw up uh onto YouTube kind of thing uh moving forward I am gonna take uh the recorded sessions and add like a little a little bit of this and that like I was thinking ah oh, man if I would have if I would have held off well see going forward i would love to post something like i would actually put that link in the video um to help people out because it is such a it is such a godsend <laughs> and uh let us do this And we are just gonna turn off the camera for a moment while I finish my smoke. But yeah, when the boss first came out, that boss would wipe us all the time. Yeah, I have no doubt, man. Like my hat's off to to you folks that that figure out that stuff, like. I always have such a huge, huge respect for people that are able to figure out mechanics like that. It's, uh, I, I always feel like that stuff's kind of beyond my, my, uh, my grasp a lot of the time. Oh, that coffee's just hitting the spot. The word look on Lena Murilla's face suggests she bears grave tidings or not. Greetings and salutations, Rune. 
Suppose you're wondering whether or not the good genomist has finally determined where in the world our next adventure is to take us. Good news is he has. The bad news, however. Now, while it is not my nature to be sensationalist, sensationalism is in my job description. So please bear with me when I tell you all is right aboard the airship Lexington. Something about Alma has me deeply worried. I'm not trust this information in the hands of my publisher, let alone some sullen gate guard. Shall we continue our conversation on the Prima Vista away from inquisitive ears? Sorry, folks, it's just something. Uh... Uh, that's a cool outfit. All right, let's get on to that Prima Vista. The question is then, where exactly did Ramza and his fellowship journey next? Ah, Rune. To what do we owe this unexpected visit? And not planned on summoning you for another several turns of the sun. in town, just hanging outside. I apologize if you, if we caused you any worry. I suppose one cannot allow a reporter in their midst not expect her to report what she sees. Though I did expect a tad more discretion from Miss Murilla. I still... I know I'm a cheese ball, but I fucking love that last name. I love Murilla. It just cracks me up every time. Alma has, as of late, been experiencing uh, difficulties with her health. Her urgents have been called upon to discern exactly uh, what exactly it is that ails her. But as far as I can tell, there is nothing physically wrong with my sister. The consensus is the rigors of an extended day in a foreign land have taken their toll on her fragile heart. Rune, when did you... Oh, good. Alma. I am fine, brother. It is obvious you are not. You must return to your chambers and rest.
which should be better. Yes, old school magic indeed. How you doing, Creative Canuck? It's good to see you, my friend. Now then, where are we? Ah, yes. The matter of our next expedition. As we discovered during our most recent foray into the Intersands, the Damascan capital of Arabinostra appears to lie upon the ruins of what can only be the royal city of Lasalia, ancient capital of the lost kingdom of Ivalis. Shortly after, we stumbled across remnants of the legendary clockwork city of Gaud, cleverly repurposed into a lighthouse overlooking the Red Dorana cataract. Remnants which now sit suspended above the fathomless chasm. The Salia? Gaug? What have they common in, you ask? I shall tell you. They both appear in my ancestors' account for the rise of Avalus, the Dural Papers. Or sorry, the Durai Papers. I keep on pronouncing it as Dural. And with each new discovery, this forbidden chronicle is now proving Ivalisian legend to be more fact than fairy tale. There is no denying the proof, and it is but a matter of time before scholars and historians from across the realm come to the same conclusions. But as you are all well aware, my aim has never been to simply prove the existence of Ivalis. No, I shall not rest till I have revealed the truth of young Ramza's rule in King Delita's ascension, and clear my ancestor Oran Durai of the false accusations made against him by the church. <laughs> Should we not see Dalmer first? <laughs> you know, your daughter? Gagane's chirurgeons would have us believe she is in no immediate danger, as her illness is not one of body but of the mind. To borrow their words, her spirit is in a state of unbalance and merely requires time to right itself. Alma will be fine as long as she remains in bed. The last thing she needs is any further excitement, especially at the paws of these meddlesome mole bats. <laughs> oh, creative. But up, bumps. Oh, I must admit, both Mont Blanc and his brother have proven more useful than I would have ever dared to imagine. When it comes to usefulness, I am first in the field. Or was it furriest in the field? Would you like to feel my fur, Kupo? <laughs> that's what he said. Or maybe that's what she said. I'm not sure. And you wonder why Ramza despises you so, brother. They do all the work and all you do is jest, Kupo. Ah, but you are mistaken, Hurdy. I bear neither you nor your brother any ill will. Any further ill will, that is. If anything, I owe you my thanks for your recent contributions. Wow, he must have taken he must have taken one hell of a knock in the head. His thanks? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? What happened to the venom spitting at her we all used to know and hate? Alma certainly seems pleased with the change, but forgive me for not buying into this all too convenient transformation.
Yeah, it's a little, that's a little odd. Oh, shit. We got to turn on the camera. There we are. Simply showing the world that Iblis actually existed will not validate the claims chronicled in the Durai papers. That is correct, Father. The key lies with Ramza Belva. If we can find evidence of his hidden role in history, it will prove Oren's testimony true and safeguard our family name from ridicule. Which is why I turned my focus of my research to Delita's forgotten companion and his factions during the War of the Lions. It was only then I discovered something most intriguing, an underlying struggle with an unknown force, a force with the power to bring about calamitous ruin. Orsight, the twisted abominations we encountered in both Lasalia and Gav, the Lakavi, they are born of these unholy crystals. While nobles of the North and South squabbled over Iolus's crown, Ramza silently sought to rid the world of a darker evil, evil manifest from the deepest desires of men and women whose mind had fallen prey to the Orosite. And with each confrontation did Ramza's fellowship grow smaller, countless companions lost to a cause that would go unwritten, yet was far more important than any clash of armies, and so they, did they endure, until reaching their final destination, the Orbane Monastery, or Orban. <laughs> okay, back home despite traffic trying to stop you. Damn that traffic. Oh, I know this one. The Orbane Monastery is where Princess Avela was raised. There's a scene about it in the Zodiac, the, the Zodiac Brave story. After Delita emerged victorious in his final campaign, he married the princess to legitimize his claim to the throne of Ivalis. Oh, I see someone has been paying attention. But I don't understand. Why would Ramza's crusade against the Lukavi take him back there? According to the Durai papers, the sister, being who engendered the Arosite, is said to have slumbered beneath the monastery. But who or what would have the means to create something so powerful? Ooh, another Ultima. Ultima, the High Seraph. A Seraph? Or what's a Seraph? Seraphs are believed by some to be servants of the gods, divine beings whose only purpose is to carry out the will of their immortal masters. As to whether or not Ultima can claim this title, however, I cannot say. Just as there were those who chose to worship Ultima and her otherworldly might, there were equally as many who feared the visitor and her deadly magics, oft referring to her as the Angel of Blood for the carnage left in her wake. Interesting. What if the spell Rune claims to have experienced in the Praetorium? coincidentally also called Ultima, was in fact an elegant interpretation of the very magics introduced to Island by the High Seraph. But that would mean... What would that mean? <laughs> I've spoken with several colleagues back in Charlian regarding their opinions on the ancient incantation, and while they yet have little to show for their research, they all agree on one thing. The manner in which Ultima etherically manifests should not be possible, at least on Heidelin. Oh, that's better. 
out of this plane. What manner of creature are we talking about here? Likely one similar to Omega. Sid! How long have you been listening from the shadows, my friend? Long enough. I'm here to deliver the item Mikito requested. Sid, there was no need for you to deliver it personally. A Moogle would have sufficed. A Moogle? And trust that he won't tear open the package and show it to some random adventurer. No, this is far too important. Either a very powerful non-elemental spell or some devious super boss wanting to destroy you. See the warrior. Oh, okay. Like so, like we're we're kind of, we're of the same fabric as it as it were. That's that's interesting. That's very cool. You two do not mind. The principal was about to tell us how to find the Orborn Monastery. Would that I could. You don't know. Then what have we been doing here? Well, figuring out this plan. At least Lady Murilla. Murilla Dry papers speak of a cataract situated on the river Zirkel, several leagues southeast of Rabinastre. There supposedly lies the monastery. Zirkel is not a name uh, you will find in any modern Dalmascan map. Rivers, however, especially one as large as the Zirkel, is established to be are rare in a nation more than half claimed by the sand. The river we seek can only be that which bisects Golmor on the Naxian border. And for that invaluable information, we owe thanks to our brothers Mughal. Their travels have made them veritable authorities on Dalmascan ge geography. Wait, but earlier you claimed you didn't know the monastery's whereabouts. I'm confused. Its location is not what concerns me, but perhaps the Mughals themselves should explain. Why, certainly. The verdant valley of vines and vipers to where we must voyage next is home to the Viera, and therein lies our little problem. The one thing the Vera do not suffer is trespassers. Not even lovable Moogles, Kipo. A glamorous kept us hidden long enough to see the jungle was teeming with ruins, much like those we've discovered in Scythia and Gao. But the Vera trackers eventually found us and took us before their elders. We barely escaped with our palms, Kipo. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the, that's, uh, that's this Sunday. We're getting together to, uh, to jam and see if, uh, everything's uh, a good fit and stuff like that. Really looking forward to it. So that is where they are still here. Why they are still here talking instead of bound for the border. There are Viera who have spurned the strict code of their tribes, abandoning their people to come and live in the cities of Damascus. Finding and recruiting one to our cause might provide us with the insight into how to reach the Arbonne Monastery Ruin. Yeah, the size of your base. Now it's going to be the size of my guitar, actually, buddy. Uh... Unfortunately, the nation's current turmoil has not made it easy to accomplish this task. It will require more time. Yeah, not my loincloth. No, no. 
Well, that's that's on display for everyone to see all the time. So I'm assuming I'm assuming it, I'm assuming it was a good fit that way. Before boarding the shuttle here, I was stopped by a banga on the docks. He asked me if I knew a rune weird and bid I deliver him a message. I told him he was welcome to accompany me to the Prime of Vista so that he might deliver the message himself, but the man refused. Mikoto, I saw this device crafted to your exact specifications. I cannot guarantee that it will function as intended, seeing as I had nary a subject to test it on. Of course, Master Sid. If any trouble is met, then most likely it is my design that is to blame. That looks like a... That looks like a wand, Harry! confidence in my craftsmanship is flattering, but you sell yourself sh too short, my dear. Here's to your success. Good day. And I say good day. Oh, jeez, there she is. <laughs> I'll speak with Makoto. I was like, yeah, I'll do that as soon as I can find her. I sense that you're interested in the package Sid delivered. I have every intention to apprise you of its contents. But first, I believe we should speak of Alma's condition. Do you not find her illness all too timely? Genomus and Ramza would like to believe that her bouts of vertigo are not but a result of mind fatigue, but the answer is clear. It is the oversight that plagues her. Alma recently confided in me that she would hear her father speaking with the Odious, well before even his first foray into the Rabinastra. However, I do not think this entirely true. It is not to imply that Alma is trying to deceive us. Rather, I think she saw something that led her to believe her father was conversing with the Orsite. Moreover, I suspect that it was the Orsite itself that granted her his vision. You recall my hypothesis on distinct frequency in our R-type harmonic vibrations and their tendency to promote ethereal amplification? Or when I mentioned that despite being the principal's possession for an extended period, the Odious exhibited none of the imprinting present in the Duma. No? The Odious has never resonated with Genomus. It has always been his wife's pendant and its oracite shard, the Virgo, that fueled his passion for Iblis. No, the Odious is bound to Alma. Uh, Alma's deepest desires, whatever those may be. The only reason I can fathom that Alma has not fallen victim to the Orisate's grasp is that her desires are not as strong as those we have witnessed in Argath or Bagarman. That, the ethereal interference caused by other nearby shards. I have explained all this to Alma and recommended that she destroy the necklace. Yet not only did she refuse, but she begged me to keep this revelation from her father. And so I did the only thing I could. I devised a means with which I might impede or at least lessen the effects of the odious. 
This device, while incomplete, will amplify the NRR wavelengths emitted by the Virgo. It should work to interfere with those emitted by the Odeus, thereby shielding Alma from the brunt of their effect. The city below is all abuzz with word of a banger brigand loitering about the airship landing. You think it could be someone we know, Kupo? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, good old Blaggy. Blaggy. Apologies, Rune, but I needed to speak with you and you alone. Oh, don't, oh, don't mind me, Kippo. I'll just be floating over here in perfect earshot. <laughs> Why, you... What makes you think I won't lay you low right here, right now? Because we're here to offer you a proposition. That's what... We need information on the Goldmore jungle and thought a man as well traveled as you might be able to persuade to, uh, to provide some. Goldmore? You of all creatures should know that it's Verland. What are you offering then? By the opportunity to tell us what you know. Genomus believes our next adventure lies beneath the jungle canopy, Capo. Uh, I should have expected as much. Very well, Rude. I came to ask if you would meet someone. Now it seems that someone may be able to assist Genomis as well. Seeing as you and the principal did right by us before, I do not see any reason why I cannot take both of you. Let me know when you are ready to depart for the Rabinastre. We will travel in our airship. Prima Vista would draw too much unwanted attention. Ah, oh, but the Prima Vista looks so much more comfortable. Back to the life of Briandry in the clouds, are we? Of course not. Not that it didn't cross our minds. But when faced with the decision of what to do next, we needed simply to remember the dying words of our leader, Gijak Brennan, and I decided to re-enlist as Damascan Fusiliers. Isidana VB, ha ha ha. And the occupying Galleons actually said yes, Kupo? Pardon me. Not exactly. We're now with the Resistance. Yay! <laughs> you know, you no doubt heard of the uprising in Dalmasca that followed the Dome and Liberation, and how it was crushed under the iron heel of the Fourth Legion. Resistance leaders were captured, tortured, and publicly executed. Yet much of the Empire's, uh, much to the Empire's chagrin, a gruesome display only served to further rally the survivors. 
Remove one head and two grow back in its place. Remove two and then there are four. A person can die, but an ideal will live on. Now there exist several factions throughout Damasca. We belong to one known as Lentis Tears. And when we told our commanding officer of our recent crossing, with you and yours, she simply insisted that we introduce you. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Me? But I wasn't even supposed to be here, Kippo. <laughs> Not you, Hairball. Him. <laughs> Meet with the general and hear her proposal, Rune. If you are not interested, we shall return you to Kikani and Hawk. You have our... Uh-oh. Girl, got your tongue? Grabbing us straight to the head, lads! Ha ha ha. Like, just the direction of these cutscenes is absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. This way, we have many months to cover before nightfall. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Hello. I have done as asked. I bring you the Liberator. And here I thought he'd be taller. Wow. Very interesting dungeon in Final Fantasy XII. Oh, I can only imagine, man. I knew it. Aviera. Sweet Jeebus, man. I am Fran, proud daughter of Damask and General of Lanty's Tears. And yes, Moogle, I am Viviera. Are you surprised? Why, yes, in fact, I am. Okay, they're all supposed to be living amongst the trees, having shunned contact with the outer world. Kupo. There are supposedly only a few who have left their homes. I most certainly did not expect to see one here in this sewer. Oh, Fran's also from Final Fantasy XII. Okay, holy shit. Indeed. This Banga claims you seek Ormon. Does he speak true? Those runes lie deep within the Gulma jungle, a place most sacred to my sisters. They would take great offense were you to defile it with your presence. What is more, Waggy tells me you travel with Gallians, openly aiding those who would see our nation burn. How can we place our trust in one who would do so such? Genomus and his family defied them long ago. They are not your enemy. Yeah, my blade has tasted the blood of too many garlands to count. Yeah, Genomus and his family defied them long ago. A garlean is a garlean. Their pathetic attempt at absolution only proves their past guilt. 
You misunderstand. Kai Genomis does not approve of the Emperor's warmongering. He wants to help the mask and its impoverished masses, Kapo. And what would a Moogle know about my people? Does your blood run, Dalmask and Ren? We could cut you open to find out. Easy there, Saxpot. General, there's no need for threats. You're right, Raggy. Waggy. Let us then parlay. Parlay? Parlay. First, resistance requires men and men and women from the Eorzean and Eastern Alliances to join us in ridding Dalmasca of its Imperial invaders. Your past deeds have made you well known to the leaders of both. They will listen to you, or if not, they will listen to these scions to which you claim allegiance. Second, the resistance requires gold. Gold to strengthen our forces from within. Your allies are in bed with the Eastern Aldenar Trading Company, which continues its dealings with Garlemald even as you raise your sword against them, profiting from the Empire's rampant aggression. As targets of that aggression, I believe my people are entitled to a portion of those profits. Grant me these simple things, and I shall personally guide you safely to the ruins of Orborn. And what of the Lexan tells? See me to victory, and I'll take the Emperor himself. Those are my conditions. What say you? To learn my request the science, we can promise no more. Promise me first, my companions will see no harm. I will promise you nothing, but if it helps you sleep, know that I have never cut down a man or who did not take up arms against me and mine, be he Garlean or Eorzean. I'd say we have our work cut out for us, Kipo. Us. Hey, you little furball. Waggy, you and the Fusiliers are to accompany the Liberator. I expect a detailed report on how my demands are received. Yes, General. expect them to be taken seriously. You are a fool to trust them, princess. Quick, Bran, pull his tail. Oh, God. You can pull my tail. Holy jeez. What an adventure, Kupo! Just think, by tomorrow we can all be the newest members of the Maskin Resistance. Uh, not that I'm ready to give up my place on the Prima Vista just yet. Ha ha ha! Uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect it to you, buddy. Oh, shit. Well, Blank is eager to return to the Prima Vista and report on your findings. Hurry, hurry! If I don't tell someone of our adventure quick, I'll positively burst, Kupo. Ha ha
this woman asks much of us. You have ever been wary of outsiders. For centuries, there are many tribes that have remained hidden in the jungles, tempt their self-imposed solitude. Each tribe has its own strict code, and will emit swift punishment to any who would defy these laws. As such, many of you will spend their entire life bound to the territory of your ancestors, both unwilling and unable to venture beyond its borders. And while the tribes are wholly independent, they have agreed to uphold a single standard, shun all contact with the outside world, unless it is to protect the jungle. That said, with every generation there are those we are who long for a life beyond the verdant sea of trees, and abandon their tribes to start a new life in the kingdom's cities. My guess is that this friend is one such individual. Oh god, well, yeah, huh? Who also happens to be the only individual we know who can guide us to the monastery, Capo. Of course, that's why they learned how to fly. I and mean, look at the little buggers. They look like the perfect size of, like, a pillow. Like a, you know, perfect cuddle pillow. Like, come on. It seems Rune's sword arm won't be enough to see us through this predicament. He'll need... Uh, He'll need to don the right mantle of a diplomat if we're to convince the alliances in East Aldenar Trading Company to grant us aid. What could go wrong? Uh, yeah, uh, uh. to Google to find out he has a Moogle pillow, 100%. Yes, yes, I know you said not to call unless it was urgent, but this is urgent. All right, not exactly, but my superiors have come to a decision on your request. I thought you might want to hear what they had to say. Oh, and let me preempt any request for immediate disclosure with a reminder that the information is much too sensitive to discuss over Link Pearl. Meet me at the Ruby Bazaar post haste and I shall duly apprise you of their judgment. Well then, Root, what are we waiting for? She reminds me of a much more intelligent Nashu. I've read about how you united the whole of Eorzea under a single standard and convinced the Holy See to end a thousand year conflict. Compared to that, asking for a few soldiers and a coffer or three of Gil should be a piece of Rollenberry Gate. Uh, I suppose we should inform Waggy down at Kugani Landing of our progress. You mentioned he was to keep an eye on us. So you have you've an answer from East Aldenard already? Impressive. It would seem that Lady Fran has underestimated your influence amongst the round's players. I assume you have no objections to me joining you then.
you seen the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Moogles? No! They're terrifying. I don't know if I care for that. Hancox awaits us in the bazaar. Shall we, Rune? lady and uh banga yeah i was expecting you would be alone rune and pointy big old buck teeth oh moogle cannot be skinny come on ah uh, but excuse my manners I am Hancock, representative of the East Aldenard Trading Company. Assigned to oversee her assets here in Kagane. It is a pleasure to meet you. Ah, Yuguri! And I am Yuguri. We apologize for making you come all this way. And good old Tataru. Not it is far from the landing to uh, him. <clears throat> ha ha, Tataru, you saucy lass. Why he was it? I serve Lord Hien, rightful ruler of Doma. I have come bearing our nation's reply to your entreaty. I am Tatu Taru of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. I am only here seeing as no one else can be bothered. For that, to bear a message from the leaders of the Eorzean Alliance. Thank you both for coming. I am Bargy, formerly of the Dalmascan Royal Fusiliers. I now claim allegiance to Lenti's Tears, a resistance group seeking to accomplish what you have in Doma and Alamigo. What tidings have you brought us? Allow me to begin then. While the East Aldenard Trading Company sympathizes with your plight, we are not in a position to grant you the funding you seek. As you are aware, the East Aldenar Trading Company prides itself in its neutrality, be it in matters political or personal. And what of our relationship with the Eorzean Alliance? Ah, yes. What I meant to say was, here in Hingashi, the Eastern Aldenar Trading Company prides itself in its neutrality, be it in matters political and, uh... You must understand our position. Simply supplying coin to any one group would appear that we somehow favor that group one what had that group over another. Being as we conduct business openly and fairly with everyone, doing such would be sending the wrong message and ultimately harm profits, yes? And by selling to both sides you maximize profits while good men and women perish. How convenient. We are a business, milady. We do what we must to survive. That does not mean, however, we are blind to the needs of our customers or our allies, which is why we support the Eorzean Alliance and their noble efforts to safeguard their realm's freedom through a mutually beneficial arrangement. If it were my choice, I would provide your little resistance with all the funding it needs. But as my good friend Rune knows all too well, it is not my choice.
Well, now that Hancock's thoroughly lowered your spirits, you won't be as crestfallen when I inform you. The Eorzean Lance will also be unable to provide any assistance. Yeah, ha ha. I need some good home cooked meals, eh? Damn straight. And let me guess, you did everything in your power to try and convince the leaders of each city state, only to watch as they politely declined our proposal blaming an unfortunate lack of intelligence or resources. Wait, how did you... Well, come on, Tataru. Lord Hien sends his greetings to you and yours. Having recently found strength with newly formed alliance with our neighboring nations, Doma is open to further welcoming like-minded organizations. This includes our Damascan brothers and sisters still suffering under the Imperial yoke. Seeking more detox. Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right, fair enough, fair enough. However, word has it that the latest attempt at reclaiming your kingdom ended in failure, resulting in the loss of countless lives, including many of the resistance's leaders. You are not mistaken. Our army is not what it once was. Those remaining have been forced to take refuge deep beneath the streets of Rabinastre. Fourth Legion has already defeated you once. Lacking unity and leadership, the current resistance will not survive another tilt against the Empire's disciplined ranks. If Doma is to join hands with Dalmasca as an ally, you must prove to us that you will stand as one. Doma's full-fledged ally as a full-fledged ally would serve far better to strengthening our cause than a few temporary soldiers. Yet even if it were even if it were able to wrest Dalmasca from the Empire's grasp, without unity amongst your people, the resulting chaos would prove even more perilous to the kingdom. You understand much of our situation. And based on that understanding, you would refuse your aid to Lenti's tears, am I correct? Do not mistake me. Lord Hien's refusal is but a message. A message to help you plan your next step. You have a wise master. He understands that without proper planning, driving one enemy from your midst simply creates room for the next. Lady Fran will no doubt be pleased to hear that your response was exactly what she expected. <laughs> you knew this whole time that your demands would be rejected? Yet still you let this farce play out? Yeah, she just wanted to see if we... You have my apologies, but this was all necessary to prove an important point to our leader. Ha <laughs> Not smarter than he looks. Lady Fran needed to show the princess just exactly what she was getting herself into. And your honesty today will serve us better than any hollow promise. Thank you. Wait, what about the Golmore jungle? Oh, I guess we're... <laughs> Can you believe this? We're right back where we started. Principal Genomus will not be pleased. She will not. 
right, folks, just bear with. Holy, speaking of Viera, holy. Wow. Okay, just gonna walk awkwardly out of the Ruby Bazaar. <laughs> and, uh. <coughs> Uh, this is going to sound wrong, no matter how I say it, but uh, I will be right back, folks. I just need to top up my coffee. See, I'm getting that part out first, and then I need to take a very quick bio break. I want to thank everyone who's popped into the channel and is hanging out with us tonight. Uh, it means so much to me, guys. Uh, if you do uh, get a chance or think about it, please hit that follow button. As it, uh, as it does help uh, the channel grow and all that good stuff. Uh, this is your pal Rune, and I will be right back. Thanks for hanging in there, folks. I am back, and back to the Prima Vista. Welcome for the nightmares. <laughs> oh boy. new skins and base I built oh I uh, which uh, uh in which uh, which game creative going in if it is as you say it is most unfortunate but I suppose we did everything in our power and that is all one could ask oh uh, arc, gotcha. I still do not understand. Why would Lady Fran send Rune on this wild pace, uh, pace a chase if she knew that knew from the start it would be for naught? Maggie mentioned something about Fran proving a point to their leader. Whomever that might be, whoever they may be, sorry. People in positions of power can prove both naive and stubborn creatures. Simply telling a leader she is wrong may not convince her of the fact. Seeing one's own plan foil fail, however, is often the best medicine. Naive and stubborn? Then the resistance is doomed. Ha ha ha. If a person has been posing as Fred is taking orders from her, then chances are this leader is even worse, Kupo. I would not be so certain, Mont Blanc. My guess is that the individual in question is still quite young and inexperienced. The Lady Brad is trying to teach her to be an effective leader through example. By allowing her to make her own mistakes, Fred is granting her the ability to learn and grow from them. An experience that will ultimately benefit her when the time comes to make some truly difficult decisions.
Right, buddy? Oh, you big monster. Now, I seem to recall reading that one of the many faces of the Resistance before the recent quelling was a young girl of royal blood. Do you suppose... You may cease with your baseless presumptions, Defector. The door was open. <laughs> and you would be... I would be here on orders from the leader of Lenny Lenty's Tears. Against my better judgment, mind you. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was Felix. He was, uh... He was like just he was constantly circling around the chair, so I figured I figured instead of trying to like guess where he was to give him a pat or whatever, I'd pick him up and uh give him a quick uh quick cuddle and then he got he got all shy. Although he's just sitting on uh just sitting on my gaming laptop, uh because well, why not? <laughs> it's warm. Uh Greetings, Lady Fran, I presume. I am Genovus and Lexentil, principal of the Majestic Theatre Company. You and your colleagues are most welcome on the Prima Vista. What is it your leader would have of us? While you failed in meeting even a single of our demands, she recognizes that you were sincere in your attempts to see them fulfilled. For that effort, you are to be compensated. That is most generous. Yeah, just... Just having you show up in the room was compensation enough there, Fran. I make no apologies. The runes which you seek are hidden behind a waterfall here, a point roughly equidistant from the river's source and its delta. You have our thanks, Lady Fran. You'll not forget this kindness. Father, I shall plot a course immediately. Ramza, what is going on here? Alma, you should be in bed. I've slept enough, brother. Tell me, who are our guests? It appears you once again prepare a leap into dangerous maw. Keep her wits about you, Rune. Lady Fran is strong, but then again, so is Begamnon. If you'll excuse me. Oh, God. Are you mad? A trip to the surface in your condition? Listen to me, brother. The high surf beckons. She speaks to me through the Arteus. Well, that's probably not a good sign. The what? There's no need to worry. Makoto and I have devised a plan. I can help clear our family name. Shalin has no say in this. I am your father, and I insist you remain on the airship. What would your mother say if I allowed aught to befall you? Mother? That is what this is all about, isn't it? But it has always been about. You care not about Ivalis or the Orin name. Not. No, you only seek to use the Orisite to bring Mother back. Whoa, what? 
you haven't been able to do that. You still do not understand how exactly it is the shards translate one's desires into reality. That is where I can help. I can ask the High Seraph. It's she who created the Orosite. Ultima has bid me come to her place of imprisonment. If we free her, she will reveal unto us the secrets of her creations. Do you hear what you are saying, Alma? Even if there was the slightest chance of bringing Mother back, we cannot risk your life in doing so. Your brother is right. We have sacrificed too much already, and I cannot bear the thought of losing you. Either of you. It is too late. Wow. Holy jump scare moment. Look away for two seconds and all of a sudden she's got the creepy demon eyes. I am so lonely, father. Why must you love Ramza more than you do me? Do not be cousined by your daughter's words, for they are not her own. Alright, upside down one time. This look was more mad than I'll, I'll save you. <laughs> Probably Photoshop. <laughs> I told you, no one can control the power within those shards. No one. Rune, here, take this. Might be the only thing that can save Alma, but we must hurry to the monastery. This is what happens when you let a cat nap on your laptop. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Such a bugger. We leave for the Golma jungle now. Have I your permission to depart, Rune? Every moment we tarry here, my sister, she... Is not the best of times. Screw your sister, buddy. Chorus Ramza. And hold on. I've set engines to full speed. 
not ludicrous speed. No, oh, Can Canucks connect Canucks jam is his toe jam. Builder of bases guy. Yeah, it's all oh, 100. Now that you do, you, I can say you've got a massive skill for. Welcome to the land of my people. It would be a poor lie if I said I did not miss it some. Alma? Oh boy. Ramza, help me. covenant and grant unto me the vessel promised what just hey -o. Waggy, to me, the girl is not well. Every time I say Waggy, I feel like Elmer Fudd saying Braggy. You think they did that on purpose? Be very, very quiet. That solved the problem, yes. Uh, might I suggest we continue this back at the Prima Vista, Capo? the courage to face true evil cool what are you gawping at the ship is this way Kupo Every time I see fucking, pardon my language. Every time I see someone doing jack squats, I think I think of Ash, and it's like, huh? Maybe that's what Ash looks like without his armor on. I don't know. Ah. 
now runs has gone. Oh, dearest dear, what have I done? What have I done? Yeah, what have you done, jackass? But you know, Mrs. Crestful, and at the thought he might never see his son again. See if there's aught you can do to put his mind at ease. How about a well-placed foot up the arse? And one of the boogles to cuddle with. Thanks to little Debbie. <laughs> the armor keeps everything in, in good shape looking. We need to do something. But what recourse is left to us? The only means we had of protecting ourselves cannot even prevent my son from... My son from... I'm sorry, Genomus. My design was flawed. You're a little tough on yourself there, darling. Not necessarily, Charlene. We all saw how it succeeded in drawing Alma back from the rift and shattering the Oteus. The loss of the boy is not yours to bear. Our focus here should not be on our failures, but what we have learned from them. The being beyond the rift. Uh, it spoke before claiming Ramza. It referred to you as the blood of its invogers. Could it be your ancestors are responsible for Ultima's summoning? Most certainly not. I have discovered no such inference anywhere in Darai papers. Besides, tales of High Seraph existed far before even earliest of Ivalisian had legend. Then who exactly did summon Ultima? And what does she think? Uh, why does she think them your kin? Look! I have a bad feeling about this, Kubo. Oh, is it echo time? Oh, ho, ho. like I played this game for a little bit. Ramza, dead. You lie about as well as you carry yourself in battle, Oren. I did not say he was dead, my lord Delita. Merely that he had abandoned his mortal vessel and trusting his ethereal soul to the Ar Arsite. But why would he do such a thing? Peace has finally come, Diabolus. There's not to be had from further sacrifice. The kingdom is won. The victory as much as his as it is mine. He risked life and limb to shield me from the dark that would would have seen me perish. Without him, I would not be standing here before you. It's my duty as both king and colleague to see him saved. Knights to me! We ride for Oborn! My lord, wait! Jor Glavidus, first of the Zodiac Braves, was not the hero the Church would have you believe. He betrayed Mother Hyland for the promise of coin and power, summoning for the terrible evil from the depths of the Celestial Abyss. It is believed only one of the lands chosen, only a warrior of light might stand against this threat. Yet while victorious in battle, Ramza was unable to see the darkness vanquished. 
Failure was all that awaited our warrior of light. Then what chance do you presume any other might stand? Are you saying I should do nothing, then? No, my lord, Ramza. My brother's final wish before he surrendered to the Aether was that his name be struck from the annals of history. Alma, oh, you're unhurt. I was led to believe none but Oren returned from Orborn. What is it this you speak of your brother's wishes? When it became apparent that our, uh, we were powerless to truly defeat the High Seraph, chose the only path left to us. Do what Highland herself did countless centuries past. Imprison Ultima. As you were aware, my lord, prison is only as strong as the seal on its gates. Ramza sacrificed his body to ensure that the Angel of Blood would never walk again walk, again walk the land. He believed that if people knew of this sacrifice, it would only inspire them to seek out the Holy Stones and repeat the mistakes of those come before. If you truly avouch yourself as friend, then you will honor this, his final plea. No, Ramza should not be forgotten. He should be raised up as a hero for his deeds and claim his rightful place at my side. Only he might be my knight gallant. He is gone, my lord. Before Ramza was your friend, before he was my brother, he was a warrior of light. He did what he did for Hydland, for those who would one day too heed the crystal's call. Oh, very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. I like the I like the brother's armor. Or, sorry, I like Ramza's armor. Claim the throne, my friend. Become ruler of, ruler of Ivalis and restore peace to this war-torn realm once and for all. Wait, Ramza! Don't leave me! Please! I beg of you! You'll make a fine and just king, Delita. If you do not stray from that path, heard me. Ramza! Alright, Kanak. You have a good night, brother. Thanks for popping in. From Final Fantasy uh, Tactics, okay. Stones and these two necklaces. You are certain they will guide the heroes of a new era to Ramza. Just what Ramza wished, my lord. On, I do not believe I can bear another farewell this day. Will you not reconsider my offer to remain as a member of my court? It's but a matter of time before the Cardinal and his Temple Knights grow wise to my past. I would not have my presence here implicate you as well. Ramza beseeched me strike his name from history, but like you, my lord, I cannot bear the thought of future generations blind to the truth. As such, 
I pen this chronicle of the hero's journeys. I fear the world, however, is not yet ready for the gospel contained within these pages, nor would the church ever allow its circulation. In fact, I believe they will confiscate every existing copy and lock them away in their library. And what better way for the words to remain forever preserved than in one of the most highly guarded vaults in all the realm? Then, one day, when the church has fallen out of favor, the chronicle will be discovered and truth shall prevail. I must admit, your plan is intriguing, Warren, but once the church learns it was you who penned the chronicle, your life... What did you do, Orin? Bad, bad boy. Freaking cool. Man, these raid series are just so full of great content. Rune! It was the echo, wasn't it? Yeah, you got it. Ask me the Tylenol, please. The removal of Rums's name from the history books, the dry papers, and it was all set in motion by Orin himself. And if the Liberator's version, visions were to be taken as fact, it also appears we now know the High Surf meant by blood of my invoker. She was not speaking of ancestors in the sense of actual kin, but the line of those close chosen by Hyadalyn to serve her as warriors of light. Then why abduct Ramza, or even Alma? Unless, there's something you haven't been telling us. She was using us to lure Rune as the vessel the High Seraph desires. Matron's teats, Alma! How long have you been awake? <laughs> Matron's teats, indeed. I've been a fool. I told our leader that it did not matter if our request for aid was refused. I had an alternative ploy. General! It is all right, Bragi. My intention was to claim one of these Arasite in the name of the Resistance and use its power to lay waste to the Garlean occupants. Only now do I realize how flawed my ambitions were. You mean the whole time you're playing us for fools? We didn't see it. Why didn't you? And why didn't we see it earlier? Never trust a woman with longer ears longer than mine. I always say. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, I've heard bad I've heard I've heard tricksy things about those cat girls too though, uh <laughs> Miss Mirella. You've every right to be angry, and I apologize for misleading you. But believe me, I am no longer have any desire to deceive you and yours. I shall see you to the Obon Monastery, and ask not in return, but that you let me join you in your rescue of Ramza. That's us. Do not misunderstand me. I do not this do this for any one of you. I do it for my people, both Gulmor and Ravnastre. 
people who may die if this High Seraph is allowed to return to power. Alright, fair enough. Still sus, though. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Uh, that was a ton of story. I was not. Uh, I mean, I know. I know. Last night, the the story was. Uh, the dialogue was pretty uh, intense too. Um, but yeah, like I mean, minus minus my three minute uh, break there. I mean, it's almost almost two hour almost two hours just in story. is freaking impressive for a raid. So we're going to, uh, we'll give the queue until, we'll give it 20, 20 minutes, folks. Yeah, a couple coffee breaks are good. Damn straight they are. Um, We'll give the queue 20, 25 minutes. Holy shit, it's actually filling up. By the 12, as they say. Sorry, folks. I was just zoning out to the to the music there. <laughs> that's the that's the problem in these uh, 
in these waiting these waiting moments i tend to i tend to just relax to the music and then i'm like oh right hey there's people that are actually watching this i should perhaps be trying to entertain them with my with my razor sharp wit <laughs> Stadio and my favorite Final Fantasy character of all time. TG Sid. Okay. And sorry, what does the T what does TG stand for, Ashen? Thunder God, okay. I'm uh, I'm partial to Thunder Gods myself, so that's uh That has me very intrigued now. I can't believe it. it's just over a week to go, Ashen. And everyone else in chat, that uh, that dawn trail's coming quick. Both are from Final Fantasy Tactics. Thunder God Sid is a very powerful holy knight. Like a souped up paladin. Ah. Oh. Awesome. Also very partial to paladins, so. Color me intrigued, good sir. Doing a farewell to N Walker on Sunday. Awesome. And what what's that? What's that gonna entail? Like are you guys doing like certain certain events or, or instances or whatever? thing is a glam con oh cool okay that makes that makes sense that makes sense that's freaking awesome winner gets some cool prizes See, I like that. That I like the. I like hearing about activities like that, and, I, and you and you know, just even traveling through. And I mean, I know people don't maybe necessarily get to see the Final Fantasy fourteen world uh, a terrible deal on on my streams because I'm usually laser focused on on uh, a quest line or you know uh, or a raid or whatever but uh 
but you can you can see these things happening in the in in all over the game and in the major cities and stuff like that it's the one thing the one thing i well not the one thing it's one of many things rather that i love about this game is that there is always an active community right like there there are always groups of of people around and and stuff like that so it's it's awesome to hear of events like that um just because it's it's something positive right um probably run some trials unsynced to you. Cool. So you'll just so you'll just go in at your your current item level and stuff and kick some ass kind of thing. happening or is here from helping people be bosses to real life drawings I know your character yeah for sure like it just it, it was awesome like the uh, the other day I haven't gotten back to it I hopefully uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get up early enough to put in some uh, conjuring leveling tomorrow morning but you know, one of the one of the awesome things, like in between quests or whatever, I've just been running. I've been just like flying from uh, uh, like fate to fate kind of thing. Uh, and and it, there's always groups of people doing it, right? Like it's just uh, it's 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 pretty cool. Like I say, it's it's just fun. It's the game is so much fun because I find no matter where you go in it, there there's life there, um, and I and I think that's if I was to say one of the strongest points of Final Fantasy fourteen, that's it right there, right? Um, you know, it's not. You know, some places are a little quieter, yes, than others, but I mean, I can't think of a place that I've been to, like, outside of streaming when I'm just, like, playing the game by myself and, you know, kind of doing a lot more wandering. I can't think of a time where I've been in a place where it's been absolutely devoid of player life. Yeah, 30 or 40 people well yeah well that one day was crazy oh my god it was like because it was during that event um i was following like a group of you're right like it it, it seemed to be about like it was at least 20 people because those because those fates would like would be like they would start then it would be burr, hip, bop, 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 bop. and it's like wow okay oh a couple hundred experience points awesome and then there was a uh, i i uh i think it must have been an event fate uh there was like these block giants or whatever 
that popped up, that was that was pretty freaking cool. And even though the word fate was like looked all comic bookish and stuff, like it was it was it was pretty neat. time he beat a realm reborn he still had a few levels to grind out so people would do huge fake farms all through Gorthus site field oh I can only imagine man see that's aw that's awesome I'm 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 always very jealous of uh people like you that 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 have been you know that have seen the the whole history of the game and holy crap See, the queue knew I was only five minutes away from calling it a, calling it a night. <laughs> now, did you play 1.0? Like, did you play, like, the original bad version of the game? <laughs> he said nope and went back to Final Fantasy 11. Oh, look at that group. Oh, let's back. Let's back out a bit here, baby. What the hell is that? Whoa, a monastic ghost. Lots of, lots of Bardley Bards. Oh, 
estadio. Standing beside each other. Whoopsies. As a mechanic that likes to kill people, I think I just encountered that. gap in our defenses. Oh, shit. Ah, God damn it.
this place is freaking cool. See that move wipe parade? I have no freaking doubt. I mean, I, I, I kind of got the idea. I just, I just didn't know where to position myself. So what do I Oh shit, what do I do? Hey, I guess I do that, because I'm still living, so. Oops, sorry. See, I keep I keep on forgetting. I gotta pay attention to So Okay Wrong, wrong letter, wrong letter. Oops. I was a little out.
except the Dark Crusader. What do I do? Out of the flames of hell. Hold is the blade that severs the villain's head. Endless is the path that leads you from hell. Bob. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Whoa, 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 whoa. I am the God. No, no, why? Oh, no. The very world oh, God. Is in balance. And now, the scale. <sighs> Shit, 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 shit. They who dwell in Orbit have spoken. Empty soul. Ruination. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is quite impenetrable. Yeah, yeah, it it was. Holy. My poor, my poor heart can take no more. <laughs> Holy shit. Is it sanctum you seek my way with children? Or perhaps you are come in search of power. That which lies at your feet, that blessed bauble can grant you both. You need but when it's so. Just kill everyone, yeah. Now, Ooh. take up your salvation and be gone. Mortal agency in matters divine shall not be suffered. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. 
boy. You oh boy. Dead. I'm dead. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, Jeebus. <laughs> oh. oh shit, shit, shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, check that freaking thing out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not mean to go through that. Ah, oh, shit. Well. guy always seems to know what he's doing. Ow. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Shit. my best friend healer.
only has buttons to push. Yes, she does. Oh my god. Oh god. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you, Ashen. Holy crap. Oh. Come on, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Yes, Ellie. Ellie's my lass. Oh, Ramza. Ooh, got an orchestration roll. Oh, I'll take that too. Pirates plunder. Night gloves, sure. Ah, <laughs> she even gave me a wave. Ah, what a sweetheart. Whoo, holy crap. Uh, 
I'll tell you what, <laughs> boys and girls, I am effing whooped after that. He's awake, Kippo. But is it truly him? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all coming for my aid to my aid. Freaking awesome. You have my thanks, noble warrior of light. You achieved what I could not. And you bear of my blood and the blood of house do I. Thank you for seeing my final wish fulfilled. He's even got the same stupid cow like you do, buddy. Oh, look at her armor. That's a nice outfit. My sacrifice has finally been given meaning. Oh, cool. Oh, the old Alliance raid. Now, my friends, let us retire to Mother Highland's bosom that we may finally rest. That is so freaking cool. See, when they were talking about that they kept on losing people as they were like doing the fight, I thought of a raid and I was like, oh, very well. You are the true heroes of this story. Alita, how I've missed you, old friend. Give me, Ramza. You deserve better than what history gave you. I... I could have done more. I'm truly sorry. It's countless centuries that I long for the day that we might meet once again. Now that time has finally come. Eidolon beckons us both.
trying it how far you fell from the tree are you a little brat sorry couldn't help myself Ooh, holy. I am so sorry, Ramza, Alma. Convinced myself my research was the most important thing in my life, all the while you two were standing before me. Can you find it in your hearts to forgive your father? It's all right. We are still here, are we not? And we triumphed. We proved your theory true. Evilis existed. Ramsa existed. And Oren Durai was not a heretic, but a hero. Now all that remains is to tell the world. No, my son. We needn't burden ourselves further. But father, we cannot allow our ancestor's name to remain. And we will not. Yet simply not in the manner you think. I shall be adding a final act to the Zodiac Graves or the Zodiac Graves story. Telling of how Ramza, the forgotten hero and his chronicler Oren Dry, smoked the Angel of Blood and saved Evilis from an age of darkness, before quietly embarking on a final journey that would take them far beyond the horizon. And of course I shall not leave out those nameless heroes who fought alongside Ramza without whom the young noble would have surely perished. Is that what you truly want, father? For the story to end? You'll only end on the stage, my dear, and live on in the hearts of the crowd. King Delita and Oran, Oran envisioned the Virgo as a beacon which would lead future generations to the truth about the founding of their kingdom. They were right, and just as the pendants guided us, now we shall guide the masses through our play. And now you see, my son. I would offer you my thanks again, Rune. But thanks are not nearly enough to express my gratitude for all you have given us. Perhaps after I complete the Zodiac Brave story, I shall pen a tale about the legendary Warrior of Light and his adventures across the three great continents. And you'll have your work cut out for you, my friend. Rune has enough battles under his belt to fill at least three tomes, if not four. And there's going to be lots more, Sid! you stop doing that, Sid? This tale's far from over, isn't it? Am straight, brother. <laughs> oh my god, freaking awesome! Ooh. New Lanty that might need a spaceship. Exactly. All right, this is our final dress rehearsal for the night. Make it count. Positions, everyone. Yes, Principal. Lights, music. There'll be no more mistakes from you two, am I clear? Mother crystal clear. No, sorry, it's her. Oh, oh yeah, so it's my. I'm just gonna do Mont Blanc's voice. Mother crystal clear, Coupo.
They're going to perform the new final act. Begin. Whatever will we do? The church has branded us heretics. Whoops. Shall embark upon a journey. A journey together. Together? Together. The crystal's call has been answered and evil vanquished from the land. We are now free to soar like the griffin. Free? But how? By casting off our noble names and forging a new path. One not bound by fate. And on that path we shall meet new friends. Make a new family. And unto them we shall entrust the true tale of our deeds, that they may carry on our legacy for all eternity. Sword in hand, a warrior clutches stone to breast. Oh, shit. I was in stone. He tempered his skill. My sword attested by stone revealed. Their tale can now be told. Frickin' awesome. Bravo! Bravo! You both were wonderful. I'm inclined to agree with the Lady Mulerilla's sentiments, but there's always room for improvement. Back to your positions, everyone. Again, from the top. Ha! Ah. Again? I've had enough of this. I was promised a starry role, Kipo. It is in my contract. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hush, brother. The Void Genova says it's back to polishing boot buckles again. Oh my god. I'll tell you, man. This team knows how to write shit. See, that's, I think this is kind of what we're in for with, uh, with Dawn Trail. You know, and that, just that light, like it's adventure, like not, you know, world ending stuff. And yeah, meanwhile, in the clockwork city of Gao. What the? Oh, shit. What are the Garleans doing here? So, further research will be required to reach a positive conclusion. A preliminary test show that the technology utilized here bears striking similarities to our own. Until the next expansion, 100%. 100%. Excellent. Let the Orzeans play with their baubles. True power lies within these very walls. It appears our ancestors were as cunning as they were ruthless.
What the? A weapon powerful enough to carve a gateway into the land's very core. His radiance will be eager to test this to Taurus. Wouldn't you all agree? What the? What the where now? Lena? She disappear back to Kugani? I believe she did. All right, Miss Murilla. Wasn't that an adventure, Rune? It's sad to think we must soon part ways, but with all we've been through these past few moons. Satisfied with the city's unwillingness to turn him over to the Garleans, Denomis has decided to purchase a permanent berth above Kigani for the Prima Vista. Supposedly has already received petitions from hundreds of Geiko and Gainin to join the company. Then there's the matter of my assignment. You will be delighted to learn that I am almost finished. What? How do you expect one to write an expose when off battling forces of evil from beyond the void? Don't you worry, though. A few more weeks and I'll have a draft. I'll write an outline. Till then, I'll stay here at Kigani a while longer. At the Raven's expense, of course. Farewell. All right. Well, that uh, was an amazing alliance raid. And I think this is a very good spot uh, to end it for the night. I will be back. Uh, what the hell day is it? Wednesday. So yeah, uh, Thursday. So tomorrow I'm gonna put in a. I'm gonna put in a, a bonus stream uh, tomorrow, and you guys will see me Friday night uh, as well. Uh, actually, for the rest of the week, I will be streaming Final Fantasy uh, 14 <laughs> every night for the remainder of the week. So uh, tomorrow night, we'll start off with uh, the Heavens Ward eight man raid series. Uh, and if uh, if uh, Greg Greg or sorry, Mario Bro shows up uh, tomorrow, we might even dabble in some uh, Ruby weapon stuff. And we'll see how that uh, turns out. But I want to thank everyone who popped into the channel tonight to check me out. It really means a lot, folks. And if you're feeling uh, so, so uh, inclined, please give me a follow uh, as it helps uh, helps the channel grow and uh, and it gets this awesome community uh, even bigger. So be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. This is your pal Rune signing out for the night. And Ashen, we will talk later, my friend. God bless, folks.